Welcome back to the YouTube channel Master Auto Information. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to follow the channel. Thanks for watching the videos. Let's jump right into today's incredible top peak of the 2025 EA 18 G Growler. One of the most sophisticated electronic warfare aircraft in the world, and a crucial asset for the United States Navy. It's fast, it's powerful and it's a beast in the sky when it comes to dominating the electromagnetic spectrum. Whether you're an aviation enthusiast, military tech fan, or just someone who loves cutting-edge machines, the Growler is a fascinating piece of airborne engineering. So, what exactly is the EA-18G Growler? Well, it's an airborne electronic attack aircraft based on the F-A-18F Super Hornet airframe. It's been customized and upgraded to carry out electronic warfare missions like jamming enemy radar, disabling communication systems, and protecting other aircraft by blinding or confusing enemy defenses. The Growler is not just a fighter J2, it's a high-tech flying system that can silence an entire battlefield electronically. Now in 2025, the EA-18G has reached an even more advanced level than before. Thanks to continuous updates from Boeing and the US Navy, this year's Growler is smarter, stealthier, and deadlier in the world of electronic warfare. Let's break down why this aircraft continues to be a game changer in modern combat. To begin with, the Growler is built on the proven Super Hornet platform, which means it has twin engines, twin seats, and carrier-capable design. The engines are General Electric F414 GE 400 turbofans, each generating about 22,000 pounds of thrust. That gives the Growler high speed and great agility. While it's not designed as a pure dogfighter, it can still hold its own in the skies, especially when it's covering strike packages or escorting other aircraft. But the Growler's real strength isn't in its guns or missiles, it's in its systems. In 2025, the most exciting upgrade is the next generation jammer or NGJ. This is a major leap from the older ALQ-99 jamming pods. The NGJ uses active electronically scanned array ACER, technology to direct jamming signals with surgical precision. That means it can target multiple threats at once, jam at longer ranges, and adapt in real time to changing enemy frequencies. The jamming power is so strong that it can blind surface-to-air missile systems and enemy aircraft long before they even know what's happening. The Growler carries two main types of NGJ pods, the mid-band and the low-band. Each one is designed to hit different parts of the spectrum. Together, they create an umbrella of electronic suppression over the battlefield. And in 2025, the Navy is testing the high-band pod, which will allow the Growler to disrupt communications and sensors used at higher frequencies, like those found in newer 5th gen systems and drones. Another standout feature of the 2025 EA-18G is its crew coordination. With two people on board a pilot and an electronic warfare officer, or EWA they can divide tasks during missions. The pilot focuses on flying and positioning the jet, while the EWA runs the jamming, scans for enemy radar, and coordinates with other assets. This teamwork is vital during complex operations like CEDA suppression of enemy air defense or escort jamming missions where the Growler clears a path for strike aircraft like the F-35 or B-2 Spirit. Speaking of stealth fighters like the F-35, the EA-18G plays a critical role in keeping them safe. While the F-35 is stealthy and designed to sneak past enemy radar, the Growler can provide a backup shield by jamming any systems that detect or track friendly aircraft. In fact, the Navy often flies Growlers alongside F-35S and legacy aircraft like F-A-18 Super Hornets and D-2D Hawkeyes to build a layered electronic attack network. The 2025 Growler is also equipped with upgraded sensors and mission computers. The jet uses the IN-ALQ-218 receiver system, which detects, identifies, and locates enemy radar and emitters. Combined with new software and data fusion tools, the Growler can share threat information in real time with other jets, command centers, 
and even ground units. It's a force multiplier returning the chaos of enemy air defense into a manageable, targetable landscape. And let's not forget weapons. While the Growler is primarily an electronic warfare platform, it's still armed. It can carry AIM-120 AMRAAM missiles for air-to-air -air threats and AGM-88 HARM missiles for anti-radiation attacks. The HARM homes in on enemy radar signals and destroys them. That's what makes the Growler so dangerous and not only can it blind a SAM site, but it can also take it out. One of the reasons the EA-18G Growler is still so relevant in 2025 is its flexibility. It's carrier-based, which means it can launch from any U.S. Navy aircraft carrier in the world. That gives it global reach. Whether it's the Pacific, the Middle East, or Eastern Europe, the Growler can show up fast and bring instant electronic dominance. And while the Air Force retired its older electronic warfare planes like the EC-130H Compass Call, the Navy doubled down on the Growler. With over 160 Growlers in the fleet, based at Hibby Island, Washington, and deployed aboard carriers, the aircraft forms the backbone of the U.S. military's electronic warfare capability. Let's talk about survivability. In a modern combat zone, where enemy radars are linked to long-range missiles and advanced fighter jets, staying alive isn't just about stealth though it's about outsmarting the enemy. That's where the growler shines. It creates confusion, false signals, and noise that makes it harder for enemy defenses to lock onto real targets. And with the new NGJ pods, the growler can adapt in milliseconds, reconfiguring its jamming pattern on the fly. In 2025, Growlers are also being integrated into Joint All Domain Command and Control, or JAG-2. This is the Pentagon's strategy to connect every sensor, shooter, and commander across air, land, sea, space, and cyber. The Growler's real-time data capabilities and its electronic awareness make it a perfect node in this network. It doesn't just attack it connects, informs, and defends across the entire battle space. The future of warfare is not just about bombs and bullets so it's about information, signals, and control. And the Growler is right at the center of that evolution. There are even plans to integrate AI-powered threat detection into the Growler's systems. By using artificial intelligence, the jet can identify unknown radar signals faster, prioritize threats more efficiently, and recommend jamming patterns in real time. That takes the workload off the crew and makes the aircraft even more lethal. And as adversaries like China and Russia invest in their own sophisticated radar systems and anti-access strategies, the EA-18G Growler provides the US Navy with a vital advantage. It levels the playing field by making enemy defenses unreliable, slow, and ineffective. So. How long will the Growler stay in service? According to current plans, well into the 2040s and possibly beyond. Boeing is working with the Navy on life extension programs, software upgrades, and hardware modernization to keep the Growler ahead of the threat curve. With each passing year, it becomes not just more powerful, but also more integrated into the future vision of joint warfare. To wrap it all up at the 2025 EA-18G Growler is not just an aircraft. It's a flying electronic arsenal, a shield for strike fighters, a sword against enemy radar, and a brain in the sky that turns data into dominance. It combines the proven power of the Super Hornet platform with cutting-edge jamming systems, advanced sensors and AI integration. It flies with speed, protects with precision, and attacks the enemy's most critical systems of their ability to see, hear, and communicate. As military technology evolves and battles shift from physical to electronic arenas, the Growler stands tall as a guardian of the skies. It's the jet you don't see coming but it sees everything. And in 2025, it's more essential than ever. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the EA-18G Growler, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. This is Master Auto Information, bringing you the most powerful machines in the sky and on the ground. See you in the next one.